Hello and welcome to a very damp Kidderminster where we're at the Seven Valley Railway's uh, diesel depot introducing our new model. In 2025, for the first time in more than 40 years, you'll be able to buy an all new model of the Class 42 warship in double O gauge. Uh, working in conjunction with Rails of Sheffield, we're producing a range of new Class 42s in double O uh, that will cover a wide range of detail variations that have not been covered before. That'll include the, product, the prototype locos uh, from 1958, the D800 to D812 variants with the original uh, train indicator boards on the front and for general release through Hellion Stockis there will be the production version with the roller blind head codes as you can see here with D821 and as you would expect on a model released in the mid 2020s you've got a fantastic range of uh, separately fitted detail on there um, separately fitted roof vents uh, etched grills um, in engine room interior detail behind the glazing, a fabulous cab interior which will be uh, have, uh, authentic decoration in all the different colours. Uh, you've got cab lighting, engine room lighting, authentic um, lighting arrangements for the two variants for rails and for general release through Hellion Stockis and the models will be available DCC ready or with uh, ESU factory fitted DCC sound. In terms of mechanical specification, you've got everything you would expect from a, a model uh, released in 2025. You've got a powerful central motor with flywheels uh, driving all four axles. Um, smooth, powerful drive, capable of pulling any kind of train you would expect the real thing to pull. Um, it's going to be everything you would want it to be from a, a 21st century warship. So, as you can see, we've got the first engineering prototype of the Class 42. Uh, we're really pleased with what we've got so far. It's very promising. In terms of liveries, uh, there's going to be four different liveries for Rails of Sheffield on their exclusive editions. That's four different green ones, either with uh, in plain green or with a small yellow panel covering uh, D800 to Brian Robertson, D802 Formidable, D812 Royal Naval Reserve and D808 Avenger. On the general release versions, which feature the locos with the roller blind head codes, we've got five different liveries. There's uh, green with full yellow ends. There's uh, blue with small yellow panels, D831 Monarch. There's maroon D832 Onslaught featuring the preserve loco, uh, the other preserve loco. Um, and we've got D868 uh, Zephyr in blue with full yellow ends. Okay, so we're sitting inside the cab of D821 at the Seven Valley Railway's diesel depot in Kidderminster. Um, we are very lucky to be able to get access to this uh, lovely loco, uh, which is the inspired our new model. Um, the real Class 42 warships uh, were first introduced in 1958 and they were a development of the Deutsche Bundesbahn uh, V200 class from West Germany. They were one of the first diesel classes introduced uh, under BR's modernisation plan um, and were among the first of the diesel hydraulics on the western region. They were a pretty radical design uh, for the time and uh, 38 locos were built at Swindon Works uh, including the first 13 which were a sort of prototype batch um, and had a slightly different look to the rest of the locos with the um, Great Western style um, train reporting frame on the front uh, all the rest of the batch from D813 onwards had the more familiar uh, roller bind head codes. Both of the preserved Class 42s that uh, are still around, D821 uh, here at Seven Valley Railway and D832 at the East Lanks Railway, are, are from the production batch and they have the roller blind head codes. Um, the original style that was shown on D800 to D812 disappeared in the mid-1960s when the locos went through um, heavy overhauls at Swindon Works. As you probably know, there were also uh, Class 43 locos which were built by North British 
Uh, they had a different engine and mechanical arrangement, but were outwardly very similar to the Class 42s. So, although they look outwardly very similar, there are lots of little detail variations among these locos that uh, we've managed to capture on these new models for the first time. Uh, in the models for Rails of Sheffield, which are the uh, original prototype locos with the train reporting numbers on the front, the original design, um, the first three locos, the 800 to the 802, had short handrails under the windscreens, very short little loops. Um, our models will have that. And then the rest of them had the standard longer handrails. The prototype locos also had on the underframe, uh, they had a complete skirt, whereas the later locos had a, an opening in the skirt for the fuel fillers. We've got both versions on our models. Uh, other little variations include, obviously, the uh, prototype batch and the production locos with the roller blind head code. On our model that will be illuminated and there'll be real uh, authentic um, western region and inter-regional head codes um, fitted on the on the models. So as I mentioned earlier the class 42s were a pretty radical design for their time and they were also uh, a very early introduction in the in among BR diesels in the modern under the modernization plan. Uh, the first ones were introduced in 1958. Uh, they quite controversially at the time followed uh, German practice and they brought technology in from West Germany um, using a twin uh, motor and hydraulic uh, drive system which was derived from that used in the V200 class which uh, many people will be familiar with their sort of legendary European diesel design. When they were first introduced in 1958-59 they were designed to replace uh, locos such as Castles and Kings they were a relatively lightweight design, designed for primarily for express passenger work, but also for uh, they were designed to be mixed traffic, so they could work anything from um, van trains to parcels to the Cheltenham Spa Express. They were um, a real all-rounder. Um, very early on, it was found that they were quite rough riding at high speed, so the maximum speed was reduced, um, but they continued to uh, cover a wide range of duties really until they were surpassed by the uh, westerns uh, the class 52s uh, a few years later um, after that they were moved to more secondary duties a lot of them did work on the waterloo exeter line after the western region took over operations on that route from the southern region um, they uh, worked a lot in devon and cornwall um, and then towards the end of their lives they were tended to be focused on really quite humble duties in Cornwall, uh, China clay trains, local goods trains, things like that, newspaper and parcels trains. Again, after around only around 14 years of uh, service, the last ones were withdrawn in 1972, um, three managed to survive. Unfortunately, we lost one of those, uh, D818 Glory was scrapped in the mid 1980s, uh, but two still survive, uh, D821 here at the Seven Valley, which we're sitting in at the moment, and D832 at the East Lancashire Railway in, in Bury. Um, we're very fortunate to have these machines still around, So, and thanks to the Diesel Traction Group for letting us um, sit inside here and, uh, and talk about the, our new model. So we're announcing these models ahead of the Great Electric Train Show in Milton Keynes this weekend. If you're coming along, you'll be able to see this sample on display on the Hellion stand. If not, take a look at the Rails website immediately after this video goes live, you'll have where there'll be full details of all versions. Uh, you can order the exclusive models from Rails of Sheffield, uh, and you can order the general release ones, like this one, from any Hellion stockist straight away. <laughs>